Today, on our 2015 Kia Sorento, we'll be installing the draw tight hitch, part number 75772. Here's what our hitch will look like once it's installed. Next, we'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements. This will assist you with selecting accessories such as a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is four and a half inches. From the top of the receiver tube opening to the ground is 13 and a half inches. We'll now go ahead with the installation. The first step of our install will be lowering and removing the spare tire. Now there are two ways to lower and remove the spare tire. The conventional method would be inside the rear cargo area and using the spare tire tools. We can also access it here at the bottom of the spare tire crank. Quick tech tip, when accessing it here at the bottom of the spare tire crank, it'll be a reverse thread. Then once we have it low enough, we can go ahead and remove it. Now with the spare tire set aside, we'll need to remove the two underbody panels. There's one on the driver's side and one on the passenger side. We're also going to need to lower the exhaust. So before we do the passenger side panel, we're going to lower the exhaust first to give us a little more working room. Starting here on the driver's side, let's go ahead and remove the Phillips head push pin fasteners and then remove the panel. Once we have the push pin fasteners removed, it's secured going through two metal studs protruding from the bottom of the vehicle floor pan. We'll just need to pop those free. You can use a flat bladed screwdriver or an interior trim panel tool. Now with the panel down and out of the way, we're going to move over to the passenger side. Next, we're going to lower the exhaust. Before we remove any of the hangers though, we're going to put a safety strap underneath of it to help support the weight of the exhaust after we remove the hangers. Now as the strap is in the way, we're going to go ahead and remove the rubber isolators from the metal hangers. To make it a little easier, we'll spray each one with a spray lubricant first. And for this application, we're going to remove a total of three hangers. One on each side of the muffler and one just forward of the rear axle. Then using a pry bar of pliers, we can remove the rubber isolators from the metal hanger. Now that the hanger is removed, we'll go ahead and use our safety strap to safely lower the weight of the exhaust so we can gain easier access here to the frame rail. Now we'll go ahead and remove the underbody panel here on the passenger side. Again, we'll remove the push pin fasteners and then pop it free. Now that we've exposed both frame rails, we can go ahead and point out the attachment points. We have a total of eight attachment points, four on each side. Four of the attachment points, two on each side, will be weld nuts built into the bottom of the frame by the manufacturer. The other four will be pre-drilled holes in the side of the frame. Now, before we attempt to install the new hardware, we we'll want to make sure we clean out the weld nuts with a spray lubricant and a half inch nylon tube brush, part number 814092. Because over time, the threads of the weld nuts will build up with rust, dust, dirt, and debris. It can make it difficult to install the new hardware. Once we spray it down, I'll then just use the tube brush to thoroughly clean it out. We can even take one of the new fasteners, thread it into the weld nut to make sure it's going to go nice and easily. There, now once we finish that with one fastener, I'll go ahead and repeat it with the other three weld nuts. Quick tech tip, on both sides, there is a fastener that protrudes to the bottom of the vehicle's floor pan that will interfere with the hardware that comes to the side of the frame. Using a small cutoff wheel, 
I'm just going to remove the bottom section of this fastener to free up the space needed for our hardware. There, now with the passenger side done, I'll repeat the same process on the driver's side. All right, now that we have clearance here from the fastener that comes to the bottom of the floor pan, we're also gonna trim back the bumper pin locator to give us a little more working room to get our hitch in place. Using a cutoff wheel, we can just cut it back approximately an inch to inch and a half to allow for the clearance that we need. We'll do this on both sides. Now, our fasteners that'll go into the weld nuts will be the 12 millimeter bolt and 7 16 conical tooth washer, and the teeth of the washer will face the hitch. For our fasteners that go through the side of the frame, we'll be using the long half inch bolt, a half inch conical tooth washer, and a half inch nut. Note, on the passenger side only, we'll be adding a half inch spacer. We're now ready to put our hitch in place. We're gonna feed the passenger side up over the top of the exhaust and bring the driver's side up to the front. We'll install our weld nut fasteners first, installing each fastener finger tight until we have them all in place. Now here for the side frame fasteners, we'll take the long bolt with our half inch conical tooth washer on the bolt, feed it through the hitch and through the frame. Then we'll move to the inside of the frame. We'll go ahead and put the spacer block on first. Then each bolt to get a conical tooth washer. Again, the teeth of the washer will face the hitch and then a nut. Now I'll move over to the driver's side. Repeat the same process with the exception of the spacer block won't be needed. Now with all our fasteners installed, we're ready to go ahead and tighten them down. We'll start with our weld nut fasteners and then tighten down our half inch bolts. Keep in mind these fasteners are the same on each side. So each process we do to one side, will get repeated identically on the opposite side. Once we have all our fasteners tightened down, we can go ahead and torque the specifications as indicated in instructions. We can go ahead and reinstall the exhaust. Once we have our exhaust back up, we can remove the safety strap. We'll go ahead and reinstall our underbody panel. Now on this application, there's some interference between the side panel and our hardware that holds the hitch. So using our paint marker, I'm just gonna mark out the sections that'll need to be trimmed. Now using a rotary tool or even a pair of tin snips, we'll go ahead and cut out the sections. We'll repeat the same process for the driver's side.
Now with our panels back in place, we'll go ahead and reinstall the spare tire. Now with the spare tire back in place, we're ready to hit the road. And that does it for the install of the draw tight hitch part number 75772 on our 2015 Kia Sorento.